It's called Slow Train Coming. It's been coming a long time and it's picking up speed. Nobel Prize winner, poet, songwriter, musician, and train lover. Bob Dylan may have let his hair grow long way back in the day, but he's never been one to let the grass grow under his feet, seeming busier than most people half his age. This year alone, 80-year-old Dylan has sold his entire back catalog of recorded music to Sony Music Entertainment. Last weekend, the Bob Dylan Center opened in Tulsa, Oklahoma. It's a museum dedicated to the songwriter with live performances and curated displays from his archive. This week, Dylan the Artist revealed his largest sculpture to date. He crafted the piece called Rail Car from nearly seven metric tons of iron, then set it on train tracks for exhibit at a vineyard, Chateau Lacoste in Provence, France. Trains and railways seem to be a repetitive theme in Dylan's music and paintings. He says this sculpture represents perception and reality at the same time, and all the iron is recontextualized to represent peace, serenity, and stillness. Dylan started showing publicly in 2013 with Mood Swings, a set of iron gates exhibited at the Halcyon Gallery in London. Portal, another gate piece he created, was purchased in 2019 by the U.S. State Department for installation at the Embassy in Mozambique. You're watching America's Top Experts.